Yay, I'm a gaming channel again. Woohoo. All right, so anyway, uh, here we are uh, looking at uh, what is possibly one of my, if not my favorite mobile game of all time, Pocket Trains. Uh, it's just been a game that I've uh, played on and off for several years now, and I wanted to make uh, a video about it. I just thought that would be interesting, specifically focusing on what was for a long time the end game locomotive in this game which is the freighter it is basically uh the engine that you can haul the most cargo with it's all pretty cool but the thing is you could haul as much as 28 cars with the freighter uh if you lash up as many as three of them uh, you could haul up to 28 cars on a single train and then from there that was as much as you could haul that is until now this isn't a hack, this, is, this isn't a glitch, I just, it's just a fun little project I wanted to do because I thought it was interesting. So you all know about precision scheduled railroading, or at least most of you might. Um, it's basically, uh, among several other things, it just makes, it's, it makes trains longer. That's part of why it makes, that's part of why trains are longer. Because of precision scheduled railroading, and basically I kind of wanted to try something like it in pocket trains, so we have our little route from Paris, France to Los Angeles, California. Yes, we can do that in this game. That is possible. So uh, we have three trains going on that route. We have the Quebec Freighter, uh, which normally in the game, it's called the New Jersey Freighter, but I renamed it to Quebec Freighter. Hopefully you can tell why. And then we have the Virginia Freighter as the second uh, train in this little convoy i guess and then we have delaware freighter um that's the third one and i do have more freighters besides those but since this isn't my first time doing this little test train thingy i would i figured i'd just try three freighters from paris to la because paris is a big interchange point on the route so getting started with the quebec freighter um it's all pretty fun and stuff now, the thing is, I probably should have thought about this before I did it, but um, uh, one big thing that's going to be a problem with this is operation operating costs. Because the thing about pocket trains is um, the reason why all the lines are color-coded, as you may tell, is that's kind of how the game works. You have all these different rail lines, which are owned by certain trains i guess you could say and um only one train can operate per track section which is why they are color coded and if you want one train operating on a certain section that is that it does not own you have to pay a certain amount of money which is what we are doing here i probably should have had virginia freighter go first because this line technically belonged to virginia freighter before i did this but I just chose Quebec Freighter to go first simply because it was the fastest of the three freighters. I wanted to I want to go by speed. Um, I'm not too worried about how fast the trains are. I just figured it might just be a good idea to have the fastest go first and work our way down. So the Quebec Freighter is 65 miles an hour. Uh, Virginia is 62. Delaware, if it is 56. So I just figured... That might just be a good idea. I don't know. We'll just see. Once again, first run, just kind of a bit of a trial to see how this goes. So yeah, we have a uh, Quebec freighter uh, on the move from Paris to Lisbon, Portugal. I'm going to have to wait a bit for it to arrive in Lisbon before I can send out e uh, the Virginia freighter. Once again, that's because I have to purchase tracks and you can only have one train on a track at a time, so that is great. Um, and I might just go into a bit more detail about uh, my little train operations that I had set up here. But for now, let's just do a quick little jump cut uh, to when uh, Quebec Freighter gets to Lisbon, so we can continue on from there. A few moments later. All right, several minutes into the future, Quebec Freighter has just arrived in Lisbon, so we can have it going uh, on the second leg of the journey from Lisbon to Washington, D.C., which also leads us to the hardest part of this experiment, crossing the Atlantic, because yes, you can do that by rail in this game, do not question it. Um, and once again, I probably should have had Virginia Freighter go first because of this, because... Um, 
the line that I used for this route, Paris to LA, was originally it originally uh, was operated by the Virginia Freighter. But once again, I just had Quebec go first because of speed, uh, though I probably should have had Virginia go first. And that kind of leads me into the whole thing with uh, how I operate my routes in pocket trains. So basically, I have uh, the big main lines, which are operated by the freighters. Like Virginia Freighter has, it has, uh, it goes from Los Angeles, California, all the way to Christchurch, New Zealand, and Delaware Freighter has its own line from uh, Nome, Alaska, all the way to Anadir, Russia, and just stuff like that. You have these very long lines that span all of the globe, and it's very cool, um, and it's basically just my biggest money maker in this game. Uh, and then I have, besides the main lines, I also have the branch lines, which um, basically what they do is they take some of the cargo from the places that are, are not reached by the freighters. They take cargo from there, they bring them to the main lines of the freighters, so the freighters can pick them up, take them all the way across the world, make some big profit, uh, and either take them to their destination, or take them to another branch line where they will then be taken to their destination. And um, so yeah, that's how that all goes. But the thing is, um, I've also made a few changes to my branch lines lately so that I could get more profitable cargo out of, there, out of them. Uh, primarily on like the westernmost and easternmost points of the route, like how I said the Delaware Freighter used to run from uh, Vancouver, or no, it used to run from Nome to Anadir. Now it runs from Vancouver, British Columbia to Harbin, China, and the lines to Nome and Anadir are now branch lines, and that is because it just allows me to um, get some of the most profitable cargo more quickly. So then when the Delaware Freighter comes back, it doesn't have to pick up all this cargo itself. It's just sitting right there waiting for it so it can get loaded up and back on its way faster. I'm sorry if this is confusing, but that's basically how I just ran trains in this game. And that's kind of how I was able to load up three trains into one big mega train um, by having all these branch lines which bring all this cargo from the east all the way to Paris, because Paris is a big interchange point, and all of these freighters could uh, be loaded up with that cargo and send it off to the west coast. So that's how I ran trains in this game, and I just, uh, I just wanted to try this whole mega train thing simply because, um, simply so that I could I figured, well, I could get even more profit out of it because I'm transporting more cargo. All the stuff with the precision scheduled railroading, yay, yay, hooray. So that leads us to now, and getting back on the subject of our precision scheduled railroading, um, let's get uh, the Quebec freighter from Lisbon to Washington, D.C., and with that we are also able to get the Virginia freighter from Paris to Lisbon. And after this, uh, we will finally be able to have all three uh, sections, I guess, of our very big PSR-ified train running at the same time. So let's do one more jump cut, so then we will, we will be able to get the Delaware Freighter underway as well. Eventually. Alright, our Virginia Freighter has arrived in Lisbon, Quebec Fre Freighter has arrived in D.C., so now that gets us on the final leg of the journey, uh, DC to Los Angeles, Lisbon to DC, and now we will have the Delaware Freighter running from Paris to Lisbon, so we can have all three sections of the train running at once. And yes, I am aware that um, this isn't this kind of differs from actual PSR, where multiple trains are put together into one big train, like physically. Uh, coupled together as one big train and I'm not really doing that with this because in pocket trains of course you can't run multiple trains at once but um, I mean it's kind of like that I guess I know it isn't exactly like PSR I just thought um, this would be like just something relatively close and this would just be a 
just a fun little idea just to see how well it worked and also i kind of wanted to make this video simply because I, I, I just think that Pocket Trains is a pretty interesting game that deserves more uh, recognition, and hopefully this will work as a way to get it there. I don't know. And I know there's the whole... I also know there's the whole stigma of uh, how mobile games are just all cheap trash that's just used to get a quick buck, and hardly any effort goes into it. It's all just crappy clickbait, and there's no quality in it whatsoever. And I know there's all that stigma about mobile game stuff, but maybe this will also help to see, like, there are actually good mobile games out there. You know, games like Pocket Trains. Now, granted, Pocket Trains was released all the way back in, like, I think 2013. So, I mean, it's not necessarily very new itself, but it's still a pretty good mobile game. And it still sees the occasional update um, and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's a pretty good mobile game, and I started playing this around 2015. Like I said, I've just been playing it on and off ever since. Um, so, yeah, it's a pretty fun game, and I just wanted to give a bit of attention, give it a bit of attention, I cannot talk today, while also just having a bit of fun with this whole PSR thingy. So, um, with that all said, let's just... Uh, get these trains to their destinations, so then we can have a bit of a overview about this whole thing. Uh, that that uh, means we have to do one more jump cut. This is going to be the last jump cut, I swear. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting, and they had to hire a new one. All right, we did it. Um, took a bit of skipping around, I know, but all three freighters have made it to Los Angeles. Um, I wasn't going to bore you with the whole little process. Uh... Delaware Freighter made it to DC, then made it to LA. You know how it goes, hopefully. But yeah, we did it. Uh, we made it to LA. All three trains made it to LA successfully. And yeah, that's pretty cool. And we kind of, uh, we haven't really turned a profit. Kind of, we're getting there. We're getting there. We've almost broken even, because I was also trying to... Part of why I did this was I just wanted to see how well it worked, like, from a... Just from an economic standpoint, uh, with this whole little thing, with the... With Pocket Trains being a whole business tycoon management thing, I wanted to see how well it worked with, uh... If it turned a profit or not, and... what Uh... It kind of... It's getting there. It's getting there. And part of why it hasn't is simply because um, I accidentally spent more money than I had to on operating costs. Once again, probably should have had Virginia Freighter go first, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, it first run, uh, just some things to figure out, I guess, learning experiences. And not all of the cargo has been delivered yet. Um, a lot of it has to be sent on to the various branch lines that I have running in North America. So then they will make it to their actual destinations and then we'll start seeing some profit coming in. But that's more or less all there is with this little PSR idea. Um, maybe I'll try more of this. We'll just have to see. But um, uh, I hope you enjoyed this little look in PSR. I hope this... Uh, got you interested in pocket trains it is quite a nice game it takes a little while for it to really get going but once it gets going it is a pretty fun game uh and i just i just hope this sparked a bit of interest in it just because pocket trains just isn't as popular as it used to be i mean it's not dead but it's just i just wanted to spark back a bit more li life into it i don't know but i just wanted to I just wanted to make a video ded dedicated to pocket trains. That's all. So, yeah. Um, thank you for watching. If you have more ideas on what I can do to, I don't know, uh, get better execution in my little PSR endeavors, uh, let me know about that. But, yeah, that's pretty much all. Once again, thanks for watching. Thank you for making it this far. And that's about it for Train Person Gaming.